Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be EQing our bass and kick of the side trans variety. We're going to be going over the relationship between the two and how you should EQ them. So I have my kick here, and I have my bass here. They're already side chain just for the sake of whatever. So the thing about side trans kicks is they're very pitchy. They have this really high kind of like top end sweep. It makes them very clicky. Uh, so you're going to want to tone that down a tiny bit. So here's what I do for my kicks. I always shave off a little bit of the frequency around here. Just to kind of hollow out the kick a tiny bit. Makes the kick sit better in the mix for me personally. You don't need to do this, but you can if you want. Uh, usually I have a, a lot of energy in here in this area. Uh, in the overall mix if I don't do that, so I do it basically right off the bat every time. Seems to work well. So I'm going to take this guy right here, I'm going to kind of search around and uh, sculpt the kick in, in a way that sounds pleasing to my ears. All right, we still have that low end. Low end sounds great. I'm going to move that over a tiny bit. And then we have like this really, like, it's really clicky. Uh, that can still be there, but it can fill up the mix quite a bit. You want it to be there, but you don't want it to like overpower the mix. I'm going to use our little shelf here. All right, so it's still there. I'll just turn it on and off. You can give it a listen. All right, so from there, I'm going to bring the volume down a tad. Give us a bit of headroom. Okay, so on to bass. All right, you're gonna want to. The thing about side trance is it's kind of it's kind of different than most genres, uh, as far as I know, because the click the 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 kick is so clicky. You want that to be there, and the bass you want to completely overpower you. Like at events, you know, you want the bass to really just destroy you. You want it to be like in your face, driving, especially like full on side trance. You want that bass to be there. So you're gonna be boosting more than cutting. Uh, but let's see what's going on here. All right, so I can add a little shelf here. Right, and what I see a lot in side trance is they have this small little curve here to kind of boost the fundamental even more so. All right, you want that fundamental to hit the subs. So you're going to want to each 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 baseline is different, but yeah, this is a general kind of rule. I want that to be there. And then from there, what I do is I kind of shave off this little part. Because whatever you, whatever you boost, you need to kind of take away soon after. We'll use a narrow Q. That should be good. So let's take a listen to it. Without it, it sounds a bit too, doesn't fit well. Yeah, so um, there you go. That is uh, the relationship between the kick and bass in Psytrance, done a little bit differently. Uh, this is just my take on it. I'm not an expert. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.